Morning folks, hopefully we're all fit and healthy on this, well it looks like a sunny start, although it is really breezy out there. So, suggestions to keep the kids entertained today, go fly a kite, Mary Poppins style. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you all a chance to get in. You missed out on a joke as well. You'll have to watch it on playback, won't you, folks? <laughs> have I got anybody, or is it just me talking to myself? Not that I mind. Uh, I can keep myself entertained, telling myself some really bad jokes, and uh, I laugh at them as well. So uh, I'm cheap entertainment, really. Um, <laughs> let's see who I've got. Is anybody with me? Sounds like a seance. Start to a seance. Oh, oh, they're okay. Gnomes, Stu, Sarah, and somebody else. Don't know who it is. Morning, how are we? You missed out on two really good jokes, guys. I'm not going to say them again. Um, so if you really want to see what gems they were, play them back later. Um, <laughs> waste part of your day seeing whether they were worth a laugh or whether you think, oh my life, she's wasted another 30 seconds of my life. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I'll give you all a chance to get yourselves together. Oh, Dave's in the house as well. Don't worry if you haven't got these resistance bands, you haven't got to use them. I just thought I'd torture myself a little bit further today um, by incorporating resistance bands. If you have got them, by all means, torture yourself to another level uh, and join in. But if you haven't, everything that I'm going to do with you today can be done exactly the same without resistance bands. Emma's in, fresh and sweaty, off the bike. Brilliant. That's good. That's what I like to hear. Um, if you've got the bands, um, like the loop bands, there'll be some of the stuff you can do as well if you want to. Um, obliques would be great. Anything to do with plank. Yeah, you know me. I love a plank. Gnomes is in the house. West Brom on today, Gnomes. What do we reckon? Wendy's here. Wendy, don't need the spirit level out today, do I? It's looking a bit better, isn't it? <laughs> Compared to the other day. Um, where it looked like I was doing stretch downhill. <laughs> anyway, guys, so like I say, you don't have to have these loop bands or standard resistance bands, the open-ended ones. I'm just going to add a little bit more excitement <laughs> by potentially smacking myself in the face with them partway through the live. Um, if it was anything like Friday Night's Live with Stretch, I had a phone call partway through it from an 020 number, don't know who that was, didn't answer it, so that was good. Also started off at an angle, so I had to do a few camera amendments, wasn't my finest one, so apologies for that. Uh, could you shout out an alternative for Plank if possible? Um, yeah, certainly, absolutely no problem. Um, yeah, we can adapt. Don't worry, if there's plank work, I'll try not to go with it. If How about mountain climbers, Sarah? Let me know. Are you okay with mountain climbers or is it anything literally where you're on your front that it's a no-go? So let me know because um, we've got a, a minute or two. And we'll go from there. I'm just going to make sure I've got everything I need, so my stopwatch and everything. Uh, get me to playlist up. There we go. Right, should we get started? It should be a good win for the Albion going 2 0, but would love 4. So would I. So we'll get started, guys. If uh, if Sarah, you want to just drop in, whether it's anything to do with like literally shoulders, then please let me know. Otherwise, we'll be doing stuff like mountain climbers as well. If that's not good, then don't panic. Right, here's some music. It's, I've gone with my uh, Les Mills playlist, but obviously the rip-off version, so don't worry, we shouldn't get shut down. I can do slow mountain climbers, if it hurts, I'll stop. Brilliant. Cool. Um, if you've got a resistance band, you can make it hurt even more, so maybe avoid using that. Shall we get going then, guys? I think we shall. Ah, let's just stop watching. So, if you are using the resistance bands, you've got two options. Either loop it on your foot, like that. Once we've done that, 
run this bit, don't worry, I'll stop that bit and we'll get stuck in. You'll get your full 30 minutes, so don't panic. If I do end up tucking myself in the face with them, it's not part of the class, you don't have to copy that element. Right, all I need to do is you're going to hold the plank, we're going to go with those slow mountain climbers. So if you've got a loop band, then don't worry at the time being, just stay complete body weight. If you've got the open end lip bands, then what you can do is do exactly what I've just done there. Now I'm starting off nice and slow. My shoulders are directly over the top of my hands. Got a nice flat back, and I'm keeping my knee nice and close to the floor. Almost grazing the floor, but not quite. We don't want to take the load out of our, our core. Okay, that's cheeky. The option would be to do it on your knees. So if the plank works too much, you can still take a plank position. Just drop to your knees. Now guys, what you're going to do next is we're going to do slow raises of our legs. Not yet though, you've got 10 seconds. As Andy bailed on us this morning, it looks like it. Come on. So he makes a late entry. Right, don't worry, it's not going to be completely planned for the whole 30 minutes. Right, all you're going to do now is lift, little leg raises. So little leg raises, controlled movement. I'm trying my best to not let my hips twist. So your objective is to try and keep the hips facing the front. Now Sarah, if you want to lie on your back, or if anyone wants to lie on their back, all you got to do is little to the opposite. It's like a reverse plank. So just little leg raises. You can always lift your shoulders off the floor if you want to get a little bit more upper abdominal, abdominal try that again, engagement. Again, don't panic, we will not be in plank for the whole 30. So your option is to lie on your back for this one and just do that the same, but you'll lift your legs up. Right, you've got 10 seconds, and then all we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same, two moves, but we're going to reduce it to 30 seconds ago rather than the minute. So slow mountain climbers. Start off nice and controlled. If you've got the bands, don't let the bands rip your knee in. You're still using the same level of control. You've just got a little bit more resistance to push back on. But that same resistance is trying to drag your knee up quicker. Don't let it stay in control. You've got five seconds. And then we're going to go for the leg raises, little raises. Ready? So raise. Again, option, lie down on your back and literally just lift and lower your legs. If you want to put a little bit more into it, don't let your heels touch down if you're on your back. So keep the heels lifted and they're little footer kicks. Okay? You've got 10 seconds. And then we're going to get a short recovery. Only a little one. Right, onto your knees, flip onto your back now guys. We're going to switch the movement. Option, we're going to do leg extensions. So if you've got the resistance bands, all you're going to do, take the legs away from the body and bring them back in. You can change the degree of tension either by changing your bands or holding them slightly lower down. You choose. So we're going to start off with just the leg extensions out and in. Again, body weight's fine. I'm lifting my shoulders off the floor just to get a little bit more upper abdominal engagement. So again, you decide what's working best for you. Still keeping slow controlled movements and I'm using my muscle and core activation rather than momentum. You've got 10 seconds, then we're gonna keep the legs straight and we're gonna go for full on leg raises. Take them all the way up and then back down. Again, we're trying our best not to touch our feet down on the ground. Up to you whether you relax your shoulders to the ground or whether you keep them up off the floor. I'm annoying myself by hitting that cushion, but I'm not moving. Don't think the cushion will move for me, but stay where it is. How are you finding that? You've got 30 seconds to go, and then we're going to go for our 30, oh, our 30 round. How are you finding that? 
and I'll ask you questions right now, but there's not a lot you can do to answer me <laughs> if you're doing the workout. But I'll give you a chance, don't panic. <laughs> so we've got 10 seconds, then we're going to go for the bent knees and we're going to go for pretty much like a leg press. So your leg extensions, ready? So bend them to 90, extend the weight, and then bring them back in. So you've got your extension and then your controlled retraction. Now your shoulders still off the floor. Who wants to go back to plank work? <laughs> yeah, you need it. Good. Now I can feel it dead centre and I'm also feeling it at the top because keeping my shoulders off the floor. Right, change it, extension, so all the way up and then all the way down. We've got 20 seconds and then we're going to get a little bit of a recovery as we back around or as I back around, changing positions. 10 seconds. Which adds a different bit of intensity. Right, take the recovery. Again, with or without the bands entirely up to you, I'm going to hold on to it here. I'm going to do my side, so I'm hitting my obliques. So your oblique crunch. I'm not using this part of this hand to lift me off the floor, I'm using the crunch, using my abdominals to fire. And again, the resistance band for me is just causing a little bit more complication. I've got to fight it on the way out because it's giving me that resistance, but I've also got to control it on the way back in because that band is going to try and bungee my legs back in. Now, if I get tired, it might get to the point where my knees come flying towards my nose, but that's just me being lazy. And I'll learn the lesson as I break my nose. So don't do that, guys. Right, how are we doing? You've got 15 seconds, and then you're gonna flip and do the other side. Body weight is exactly the same. All you've got to do is just ignore this big orange thing, not me, the band. <laughs> are you ready? You're gonna flip side. I tell ya, quite a good, good quality jokes, guys. Good quality. <laughs> I want a full evaluation at the end as to whether you rate the core or the comedy higher. Don't know which one I'd be more disappointed to get the lower score in. Supposed to work out because that is my job. <laughs> what do you reckon? You're probably just going shut up. <laughs> Good. So. You've got 30 seconds, then we're going to do exactly the same again, but we're going to a 30-30 round. So I'm keeping it very, very simple. A minute of each move, followed by 30 seconds of each move. How are we finding it? Right, you ready? Flip over. 30 seconds. Do a bit of break dancing whilst I'm at it there. Come on, that was smooth. Now, where are you feeling it? I'm feeling it here. I'm also feeling it here. Or oh, on the underside as well. You've got 10 seconds and then you're going to roll. Five, four, three, two, flip it. And go again. I'd love for you guys to film it and see. I want to see how you transition. Are you actually trying over, or are you uh, doing the helicopter kind of thing like me? <laughs> how are you doing? You've got 15 seconds. 15 seconds, and then you're going to get a very short recovery again. Make no promises, it will be challenging. And I've got some more fucking to do with resistance bands coming your way. Right, recover. So what I'm gonna do, if you've got a band, I'm flip, twisting it. So I'm twisting it over, looping it on my thumbs, hoping that it'll come flying back into the plank position, guys. So back into the plank position. We're now gonna go for like climbers. So you're gonna go eight, forward, back, and in. So side, forward, back, and then centre. Again, trying to make sure your shoulders stay directly over the top of your hands. 
and you're controlling these movements. Now I've looped it just to give me a little bit more resistance in the diagonal movement I'm making. So stay with it. Your option, if you want to flip onto your back, you can do your bicycles. So the bicycles are going to give you that, that side movement a little bit more. So your option, if this gets a little bit too much, you can duck out and go into your bicycles. Right, you've got 20 seconds, and then we're gonna go into diagonal mountain climbers. So you've got your diagonal mountain climbers coming in five seconds. Option on the floor, guys, you can go for a triple crunch pull. So we're gonna go for a triple diagonal mountain climber. So knee to opposite elbow and then back out. So knee to opposite elbow, then back out. Your option is flip onto your back and go for a triple crunch, okay, before you touch down. Oh, how are you feeling that one? That one's gonna hit your obliques if you're in a plank position. If you're doing the crunches, going to hit the top of your abdominals and again you can always recycle this workout and take the options just to refresh it a touch oh that's lovely right you've got 10 seconds and then we're going to go back to the climbers or if you're on your back you'll go back to your ma um, bicycles ready so to the climbers side forward Side, front, side, forward, side, centre. Nice job guys. You've got 20 seconds and then the diagonal mountain climbers will come back. And I think my thumbs are about to get ripped off by this band as well. That could be part of the entertainment today. Are you ready for the diagonal mountain climbers? or the triple crunch. Ready team? 30 seconds, change it. So triple diagonal mountain climber or triple crunch pulse. I've got a proper sweat going on. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Really keep the core tight and the torso facing the floor if you're in that plank position. Last one, recover. Well done. Take a quick chill out. We're gonna go back onto our back for the next round. So, for this one, I'm gonna keep my hands overhead. Again, if you're without anything, you can either use a plate in this instant to keep the weight overhead, or if you've got the resistance band, put the resistance band up overhead. Your shoulders are gonna get a workout as well as your core. Don't use that bungee to pull you up. Now your option, if it gets too much, you can either put the plate on forehead or you can bring that band down a little bit towards the forehead as well. Because it does take a lot out of your shoulders. From here, you've got 30 seconds. We're going to change it into Russian twists. Again, body weight, band, or plate. Oh, my shoulders are ruined. Numbers. 15 seconds. Get you out of my mind. 10 seconds. Oh, that's vile. Right, you ready? Feet up or feet down, Russian twist. So I'm having to take the band outside my knees and really get the pull down to the hip. If you've got the plate, take the plate out to the hip. Don't let it touch down. Option is to keep your feet on the floor. You don't have to lift them unless you really want to add that additional challenge to your workout. Sweaty hands, that's a good one to hold on to. Right, we've got 20 
25 seconds. <laughs> then we're going to go back into that sit up. Plate overhead, plate on forehead, or no plate at all. Same with the bands. Band overhead, band on forehead, or ignore the band completely. Ready? Go. So 30 seconds in this round. Now it's tempting to use that resistance band to just bungee you up, control it. So stay controlled and slow on your rise. Because if you've got your plate, you shouldn't be throwing your plate forward to act as that counterbalance to drag you out of the lie down position. Right, back to the twist. It's making me sweat today. You got it. 20 seconds and you've got another quick recovery. Keep going team. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, recover. Well done. Take a breather, a little bit of water on board. Now there are easier ways to get the resistance band underneath you. I always like to go for the hard option though. So either take it onto your feet and sit on it, or do what I've just done. Don't need the band, like I said, hot workout can be done without it. I'm just gonna hold on to it as well, just so it doesn't flick out. We're gonna do some reverse curls, but no extension yet. So you ready? Go. So you reverse curl, shoulders stay on the floor, and literally use your core strength to lift your lower back or just your butt off the floor a fraction. If you've got the bands, you've got an additional challenge to fight against it. So you got to do what you got to do. How's that? Foil, right? You've got 20 seconds and then we're going to go for a seat crunch extension. That can be done without the band. It's a bit of a fat if you've got a band. 10 seconds team. If I can get it to stay on my lower back, I might use it. Right, so what are you going to do? Crunch in and extend out. Crunch in and extend out. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have looped it behind me. So all I'm doing is extending my legs away from me and at the same time my legs go away from me and taking my arms overhead as well. Taking my chin to chest and trying to crunch my chest towards my knees and lift my shoulders off the floor. If you can get the full crunch at the top, go for it. I think I've exhausted my abs a little bit. Right, you've got 20 seconds and then we're going to go into our 30 seconds reverse crunch. You've got to love a cool workout, haven't you? 10 seconds deep. Right, do it. So, reverse crunch. Big brace. Brace at the top so you haven't got to swing your legs too high, we're just getting that little movement, you feel it in dead centre. Are oh, you coming with me now guys? Oh, come with me now. You ready for the 30 second seat crunch extension? No, me either. Go, so crunch and then extend away. Crunch and extend. Sweat. Oh. Come with me now. You got 10 seconds and you're going to earn a 30 second recovery. Oh, recover. Take a breath. Release yourself from the band if you need to. 
Well done, we're 20 minutes in guys. Has that flown or has that felt like torture? Yeah, one of So, next round. We're gonna go back into oblique. So, some of it you will be using bands, some of it you won't be. So we'll go back into our side crunch extension. So support yourself, lift and then extend. So crunch to meet and then extend. We're going to do the one side first, just a double attack. So you're going to do a minute on this side and you're going to do a minute on the same side doing a side plank. You can always add the uh, pulses if you wanted to, you don't have to. And then we'll do the same on the other side. It's four minutes of fun. <laughs> Again, you've probably got a whole different idea what fun is to you as to what it is for me. <laughs> but if you're struggling, that's good. That's a sign of success right there because you're finding what your current boundary is of fitness. And you're testing it. And every time you test it, you get a little bit stronger. So don't back away from that. Right, so stack or split the legs. Again, body weight is gonna go the option on this one. You can either drop the bottom knee to the floor if you want to, but make sure your hips staying facing forward. Get elbows directly underneath your shoulder. And you don't have to pulse if you don't want to. So you don't have to pulse. Ooh. I tell you the horrible bit. We're only 30 seconds in. We've got 30 to go on this side. And we've got a whole two minutes on the other side to do. Oh. Again, if you need to take the breaks at any point, do it. Drop the knee, take a stretch, and then get back in when you need to or can. You've got 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, right, flip over. Oh, you want a recovery, guys, maybe? Don't worry, I'll add it on. So crunch and extend. Oh. So really try and get chest up towards those knees. Again, your option is to have the base leg there. And the leg that's on top, that's the one you can crunch with. You've got 30 seconds, and then we've got the side plank pulses. Oh, 15 seconds. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You're very quiet today, guys. Is it because you're working? <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> right, side plank pulses. Come on, let's get cracking. Now, how many of you have been consistently training core more than what you normally would? Are you getting the benefits of it? And it's obviously not always to reveal a six pack or anything. It's just getting your core strength and stability. So you may find that you'll be squatting a little bit heavier, or you may find that your back is a little bit less tender because it's better supported by the core. You may find that even things like getting up and out of a chair is easier. So it's functional based things that are way more important than cosmetic. Is that the word I want? Possibly. Right, you've got 10 seconds and you're gonna get to recover. Five, four, three, two, we'll recover. Well done, we're not finished, sorry. So, here's what you need to know. I hope you lot are sweating. We're gonna go into some sit-ups now. So the sit-ups, nice and simple. I'm gonna go standard sit-ups to begin with with or without resistance or weight, and then we'll do some pulses. You ready? Go. So standard sit-ups. I'm not gonna use my arms to pull me up. I'm gonna keep them down by the side of me. 
Just putting a little bit more resistance into my lowering. So you decide what you want to do to get the best out of your training. Don't use the bands to pull you out of position. No cheating. If you've got a plate, again, you can always hold it in line with forehead. Or you can do body weight. You don't need fancy equipment to work your core. From here, in 20 seconds, we're going to change it to pulses. So we'll do a triple pulse and then we'll lie down. And we'll bring that off for the next round. Oh, it does make a difference, so I'll tell you that. Right, ready? So, triple pulse, one, two, and then three, and then touch down. So, triple pulse, and then a touch down. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's flying today. We are 26 minutes in. How's that happened? Right, you've got 30 seconds, and then we're going to go back into the full range sit-ups. On the crunches, really reach through your fingertips towards your toes, and keep the shoulders off the floor. It's going to hit your top of your abdominals. 15 seconds, and then full range sit-ups are coming your way. Nice and simple morning, right? Okay, change it into full range sit-ups. Oh, I've lost one. There we go. So up to you. If you've got the bands, I'm just going to pin myself down to the ground. Try not to use oh, momentum now, but that core is getting a little bit tired. Right, change it back into the crunches. So you've got a triple and then a lie down. Chin to chest, tuck it in. Come on, you are so close now, guys. You're going to earn one last recovery and then we're going to finish it. We're going to try and finish with a two minute plank hold. For those of you who struggle with the plank hold, no problem. I'm going to show you your option. So take the recovery. If you struggle with the plank hold, then what you can do is try and hold this position. So my shoulders are off the floor, my feet are off the floor, okay? Option will be to tuck, put your shoulders down and maintain your feet off the floor, or option will be to put your feet down and keep your shoulders off the floor. Are you ready? It's a two minute challenge. Once the two minutes are over, the session is over. This is your ideal opportunity to tap away Watch your whole plank. Are you ready? Three, two, go. You can hold plank in whatever shape or form you like. And when I say that, I mean either on your hands or on your elbows. And you can always put your knees down. What it doesn't mean is you can't lie down flat on your stomach and do nothing. Because that's cheating. And you've made it this far, guys. So come on, stick with me. Have I mentioned how much I'm a plank? I may have said that a couple of times. <laughs> You're 30 seconds in. How about that? Does it feel like it's breezed by or does it feel like, oh my life, only 30? It felt like three minutes. I might add a little bit of variety in my second minute. I might go into high plank because I do like a high plank as well. We've got 10 seconds, guys, uh, and then you can choose are you swearing or are you sweating? Are you singing? I'm going into high plank. You choose. <laughs> How do you get through these sessions, guys? Do you talk back to me? <laughs> do you just grit your teeth and go, oh, how much longer? Again, just check your posture. Make sure you're not letting your hips drop. Make sure in the same respect your butt's not up towards the ceiling. If you need to drop to your knees, do it, but make sure your hands remain directly under your shoulders throughout. 
You've got 25 seconds. See how well you're doing, guys. I know you can do this. Huh? What? Fifteen seconds. I will tell you when it's time, don't worry, I'm not got carried away. Three, two, recover. There is your 30 minutes of core on quite a sunny but blustery Sunday morning. How do we feel about that guys? Are we on top of the world or are we hating me right now? <laughs> Either way, massive credit to you, you know. You put the hard work in, I hope you're reaping the rewards of it and I hope you're enjoying it as well. Um, however you're feeling, top, top job guys. Be proud of what you've just done. Um, you've got the other header later on today. Um, any questions, comments, feedback, positive, negative, indifferent, pop it in the box below. But whatever you're up to, enjoy your Sunday and we'll catch you during the